Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Jeff Neal versus Rafael Dos Santos. Jeff Neal, 15-6, and 2-3 and three in his last five fights. Minus 310 favorite, 34 years old, 5'11 with a 75-inch reach. RDA, 32 wins, 16 losses. He's 2-3 and three as well in his last five fights. Plus 250 underdog, a 5'8 with a 70-inch reach. 3-inch height advantage for Neal with a 5-inch reach advantage for Jeff Neal. I don't really like this fight for RDA. I, I don't like it because Jeff Neal, yes, very, very hard to take down. He's very good takedown defense. RDA has, is a very good grappler for sure. He may be able to get Neal down to the ground once or twice, but I don't think he's going to be able to keep him there. Again, the better striker, of course, is Jeff Neal. I don't think that's even debatable, especially, you know, at this point. But, you know, 16 finishes, he's been finished four out of 16. 16 of his losses, he's been finished four times. 12 decision losses, three split decision losses. So 16 decisions, 21 and 14 in the UFC. And all three of those finishes are actually in the UFC. So that's wild to me. But again, he's fought great competition. Like Gamrot, Luque, Vasiv. Those are his guys he's fought in his last four fights. He destroyed Brian Barberina. Shocker there. Um, again, against a guy like Jeff Neal, who has good takedown defense. Uh, 11 finishes. Also been finished three out of six times in his career. He's only been submitted one time. That was Shafkat Rachmanov. And a great performance of Jeff Neal. Seven and four. Like, like I said, I think I said that in the UFC. Seven and four. Technically eight and four because he fought in the Contender Series in 2017. Anyways. Anyways. His last fight he lost against Ian Machado Gary. I thought he could do good things against against Machado Gary because how Gary fights. There's a center line where uh, Neil, Jeff Neal could has to cross, but if he can cross it, he does very well in that matchup. Just didn't work out like that. Um, I, I think Jeff Neal's boxing is going to be another issue for RDA. I think the pressure and the consistent putting Jeff Neal against the cage is going to be a problem for Jeff Neal. Who solves that better? Honestly, I like RDA. I think Jeff Neal's boxing could give him big problems, like I said, but I just think the constant pressure, the pace, you know, the consistent going for takedowns, even if you're not getting them, is still winning you the fight. He's still being active. I like RDA. I think he gets the job done and possibly retires. Oh, oh. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.